Hi guys, uh, in the last video we uh, saw queries in Access and uh, we tackled the issue of sorting data in Access. Now in this video we're also uh, talking about queries but we're tackling another theme in queries this time which is basically filters, how to filter data because until now we've always been seeing all data in our uh, access queries. Now how to filter so that we see only specific data. Let's start here. I've have now built a query in access with our cars table and let's say I want to see only those cars with three doors. What do I do? So I basically go to design view and then with doors if you I'm just going to enlarge that so you can see that better. You can see here we know now the first row are the fields. The second row is uh, lists the table or tables from where our um, uh, data comes. Third is the sorting row, which we tackled last time. And fourth row is basically show or hide that field, which we also did last time. And here, from here on, you can now set fil uh, your filters criteria. Now, we want the three doors, so I just type in here. I just type in here, three. Okay, and that's it. And now, if I go to view, I just see the three door cars. Okay? So, what did exactly do we do? We just went, we said we wanted to see those cars with three doors, so we just went to the field doors and, and, and typed in three. And then in the design view, in the, in the data view, we would then see those cars with the uh, three doors. If you want to see that, how the way it looks in SQL, basically you get your SQL view and you can see here, that's basically how a query in SQL is written. Select cars, manufacturer. So basically select those fields, manufacturer, type, variant, and doors from the table cars. Now that's, that's new where this last line is new where car doors or basically doors is equal to three. This is the line that wasn't before in any of other queries, but now it's in here because this is the filter uh, line, which basically limits the data we see in our uh, uh, data view, uh, because previously we always saw everything. Now we just see that what we want to see. All right, let's try another filter. Let's say I want to see those cars that cost more than 30,000. Well, in this case, uh, a certain field is missing, basically start price, all right? And I would like to still only see those first four fields, so I just take that uh, checkbox up, and now I build a filter. So you can see another reason why those checkboxes, last, in the last video we saw that those checkboxes um, allow you to hide fields you need in your query to sort, but you don't want to see. And here the same reason, I need that field to, do, to set the filter, but I don't want to see it. So I just check, uh, uncheck the checkbox, it's invisible, but I need that field in here to um, set the filter. And the filter is, all, I need all cars whose price is greater than 30,000, and greater than is this sign, and then just write in 30,000. Okay, and then let's see our uh, data view, all right? And there we are. Those are the cars that cost more than 30,000, but we're not seeing the price because we don't see the price. We don't want to see the price, we hit it. We uncheck the checkbox and there are the cars. If, we want, if you want to see the prices, then you just go back to the go back to design view and just put in the checkbox, go back to view and there we can see, all right? And basically, uh, when you set a filter, we can also add some sorting. Let's say I wish to sort the data uh, descending so you can see the most expensive cars. So here we have basically the filter and sorting together in the same field and in the same query. So basically here we're combining our knowledge from the previous video and what we learned today. Right. And uh, obviously, if you want the car smaller or equal to 30,000, you just reverse that sign, smaller than and equal. And then going back to our data view, you can see all those cars that are cheaper 
or equal to 30,000 listed here. Okay. Now let's do one final query. Let's say we need all cars who's who we need all cars which do not have five doors so unequal not equal to five doors is written this way smaller than greater than and then five so that means i'm looking for all cars who have all who have all sorts of doors except five doors and if i go to the data view you'd see all kinds of cars four door three door whatever but not five door okay and that's the unequal sign here yeah it's, it's smaller than greater than and then five that means unequal or except five so this is basically now a, a, a first look at the way you filter data in in access you basically list or set your filter be below the field you wish to filter you can still apply sorting you can still hide the fields you do not wish to see so basically here you can see um, that queries are basically here queries like a basically like an onion we're building our onion slowly slowly first we saw how we insert fields then we saw how we sort that data in a query now we're hand now we're seeing how we can filter data in, in queries and in the next video or, or videos we're going to see, uh, see more complex filtering techniques to, ex to, to be able to, to extract data from our queries much better, much more effectively.